Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Hunter Hunter episodes 93, 94 and 95. Last time around we saw incredible set of episodes as always when it comes to Hunter Hunter and I swear at this point without any doubt in my mind it's the show that's the most unpredictable one so far. Just the fact that Killua and Gon did not win against Knuckle and Shoot and went to NGL again is mind-blowing to me. And it's just one twist in the sea of many, many twists in this show, man. It's honestly so incredible. Gon, on top of that, cannot use his name for 30 days because, that, because that's how Knuckles' ability work. His ability, <laughs> bro, it felt like I was in school all over again and struggling during my math classes, man. My brain got fried almost like guns, bro. <laughs> so basically I was able to grasp kinda the basics of it, right? And I guess that's the most important part. So when Knuckle hits you, he uh, lets you have some of his net, right? And that little fellow that appears starts growing and the amount of net Knuckle gave you shows up there and it has interest so it's growing every 10 seconds unless you're able to return Nen equally or maybe even more so if you are not able to do that you can go bust and that happened to Gon hence why he had that like Nen Kitty accompanying him right now so <laughs> I'm still mind blown that Gon and Killua didn't manage to win, bro. And that was so sad, seeing my boy Gon cry and saying that he's weak, that being weak is really rough, right? Unable to, to do anything to help. And Killua saying that he will leave Gon's side, considering what Bisky told him. It was so fucking sad, man. But luckily, Gon was able to bounce back very soon after that. And they showed us how he recovered and I hope that Kilo will change his mind and that he will still stick around after those 30 days that he is deciding to protect Gon, right? And somebody uh, on Patreon pointed out how this was actually the test for all five of them. And I didn't actually think about that at all, but it makes sense, right, for Knuckle to uh, be a little bit tougher, right, to, to have more motivation. To, to fight, to not to be too soft, right? And shoot, obviously, overcoming his uh, cowardly side, while Palm was uh, to practice like her self-control, right? And patience, so that's pretty interesting. I didn't really think about that, but now looking back at it, it makes sense. And there are also students of those guys that went to NGL, Nov and Morel, who are, by the way, Really dope characters, man. The way they're wiping out those ants, man. They just put them in that, like, pocket dimension. And Chairman Netero is, like, practicing and <laughs> getting warmed up, budding all of these ants, man. Cold. Definitely the best ant, man. Uh, another comment from my Patreons about Cold and how. He's protecting the queen, right? And he uh, got the genes DNA from that boy Kurt and the connection with Reina and Queen and also Reina meaning the word queen in Spanish, man. That blew my mind. That's such an incredible detail. He always has to protect someone that's literally in his blood and he's so nice. And that random scene with the little tiny like fetus like baby being born from inside the queen and called saying that he will protect it morel gave him the opportunity if he uh, swear that he won't eat humans ever again that he will make sure that he gets protected and he was crying as well so both morel and knuckle are soft man and i definitely wasn't expecting that moral dude to be like that as well <laughs> that was crazy they made a bet right who will come and I've, i'm still so surprised that the boys didn't come back it is what it is i'm really curious what happens now considering that cole said that 
Terminator is not capable of even landing a finger on King and not even defeating the royal guards and Nether was measuring the strength of Neferpito and he said that Neferpito is stronger than him so it's really scary but one thing that is hopeful is exactly what that guy Morel said about how you can never for sure say who can win in a battle between Nen powers man it's very unpredictable and I can't wait to see what happens next. King. Uh, oh, I, I forgot his name. His mom literally said as she was dying his name. It's like meaning the, the meaning of light, right? Like illumination. I'm so sorry. I, I will uh, have to, to wait to see his name again. But holy shit, is he cold and ruthless. Oh my god. The scenes of them appearing in that village, him beheading people and killing that child. Uh, him trying to kill even Neferpito for giving him advice how to recognize people with Nen, right? He craves like highly nutritious food and he had uh, better experience with eating brain of that little child, man. Holy shit, is this arc so dark, man, on so many levels. He is so freaking strong, he even ate one of his own kind, right? He's insane and he's so scary, obviously inspired by DBZ villains, but also kinda uh, very dope, man. I really, really like his design and the, the, the third royal guard, uh, Yuppie, right? Thankfully they cut his name down to Yuppie, bro. I will remember that shit easily just randomly grew wings and started flying me. Those three royal guards are very strong and then there is King. He was praising Neferpito because he was going for the kill and she tanked that hit on the head bro. And now they, they were approaching some sort of mansion or whatever and that's how we ended the episodes man. Absolutely peak. I can't wait to see what happens next. Also I can now watch the visuals of the opening and I can check out the ending finally. A new ending starts pretty soon. I think uh, you guys told me on episode 98 or 99 but it's good to know that I can see the ending as well. So without further ado let's start episode 93. Let's begin guys. Okay everything is ready. Let's start. Here we freaking go. I mean, this place is supposed to be like, oh shit, the soldiers. Oh my god, not even their heads, their whole torso is gone, man. Holy shit, King is so brutal. For some characters, you don't need much to realize that they are douchebags, man. Just like what I'm getting from this guy immediately, man, and he's about to get folded and I probably won't be even mad. They do it, pal. <laughs> what? Oh, <coughs> I didn't even strain my eyes to sense it. Oh, this guy is a NAN user. Dude. Oh my god, he's terrifying. He is literally killing everyone with just his tail. And because he's Nen user, it's very tasty for him. Look at his fucking Nen, man! Oh. Who's gonna defeat this guy? Off with that Nyao, don't act cute. Freaking demon. The stronger he will grow. Jesus, he's really enjoying it. I dub this guy has Nen, man. Is he some sort of di dictator? Yeah. <laughs> what does that scum claim to be the king? <laughs> it's a common phenomenon, okay. 
Oh, oh shit, man. Oh, I kinda like their outlook on that. That defies all logic. That's exactly how it is. Work of imbeciles. <laughs> we must provide proper guidance. Self renewing resource. These poor girls. Jesus, bro, that guy is terrifying as well. Yep. So long, Diego. And use it to control other humans. What does she mean by that? Oh, please, don't, don't kill them. They're dead, bro. And these guys... These humans are idiots and he's mocking them. Is it back for its life? Oh, he's calling them out. Oh, that's very interesting. Wow. That kind of reminded me of one comment from Patreon as well. Oh my god. About how the ants eating humans is like the nature, nature taking its course, right? It's like they're uh, in their DNA, like thanks to phagogenesis, right? They evolve to the point that they view everything as a food and that, as a matter of fact, they are like literally babies, but they're getting born like they seem like adults right just like king but they're actually like newborns right and it's their instinct to eat right and that they're not necessarily like evil but as soon as they started uh, consuming people way too much right especially those scummy people from uh ngl gyros people right who had guns and who were producing drugs and all of that uh, they started hunting people uh, killing them just for the sake of it for the sports right and it's so interesting to see man and i wasn't expecting king of all the freaking characters to say something like that have you ever spared a pig or a cow wow so it's so interesting <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, but it's also in human nature to fight back, right? So, unlike animals, humans have intelligence and animals don't know the concept of death, right? Oh my god. Holy shit, Pam! Oh, those are gondols! Yep, because they're failed. <laughs> she is such a psycho. Yeah, he didn't keep that promise. She's probably really gonna attack them. But the episode is called Date with Palm. I'm sorry. But there are so many dolls, bro. She's so sick. You must. And gonna grease, man. Bro. That's. That's fucking weird. Sudden feeling for gone before, right? She was stun locked by him. What the fuck, bro? It's the promise between two of them. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, <laughs> even when making scene like that, she's still so scary. Yeah, Killua knows what's up. Sorry, I can't go out today, so much about that. Bro. And Gon is so pure. <laughs> Those facial expressions, dude. Bro, I'm not sure. If this is even for comedic purposes only. <laughs> She looks like a demon. <laughs> she calmed down. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned that so many times. Prepare? What the fuck? <laughs> a secret? Oh my god, go on. 
What is he planning to do? Dude! <laughs> Look how much she changed her attitude right now. I can't believe that this is actually happening right now. Yeah, Gon is like that. He's pure and innocent and he's say saying what he means and thinks naturally. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gun is actually the re oh, oh my god, with Mita-san. What am I watching right now? Teach me things! Bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> For nothing, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Poor Kilwa, bro. Can't believe his ears. <laughs> Damn, that line is real. No, you're not. That phone, though, that Leorio got him. It's not like Oh jeez, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, he's because he's dead, right? They just reattached his body and shit to practice on him. Yeah, the bunch of them went to imitate the king, which is really scary, man. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, it's not exactly great. What to snap out of it, man, during his fight with Shoot? I was so annoyed. Fucking kill him and his twisted love, man. He's walking freely down the street, man. Oh, he's about to kill them. A present for Palm. Some sort of lovers, right? Yeah, he's wearing that they might, might get attacked. Exactly. What a friend Kilwa is. <laughs> what the fuck? Looks like some sort of beaver hybrid. The sirens because of the ends, right? He's about to kill them. He's too fast, man. He's cheetah. Yo, his fucking fingers are gone. Wow. Yo, that's so fucking disgusting, though. They started ter terrorizing the people in other towns. Oh, what the fuck? Look at her design, bro. <laughs> I'll return tomorrow, bring faster humans. That's right, we have magical beasts in the world of Hunter x Hunter, so this won't be too weird, right? Hunter Association. Oh, look at Gun's hair! <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Keep watching over Gun, of course, from the distance. Who is this? <laughs> there is no way that this is Palm, dude. Come on, what the hell? This is a completely different character, <laughs> even Kilwa. <laughs> Who are you? Wow. You look really pretty. <laughs> Bro, that's Pao. 
Killua can get over that fact, man. I feel him though. <laughs> the arrow pointing at Killua. What am I doing? <laughs> True. I swear, man. I swear their friendship is one of the best things that I saw in anime. Ooh. This was the man. It's so good, man. But it immediately changes the vibes, man. And I'm so worried all of a sudden. Something's there, of course. Who is it though? That's the that's the case. We don't know who is close to them. Is that a tree in the middle of a lake? He's not gonna let them know. <laughs> but maybe she can, she can fight. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I feel many different emotions right now. But Kilwa has one goal to protect his friend. Ooh, that was so cool. Oh, he disappeared. He's taking it. Uh, He's taking it on himself. I was not expecting this. It's gonna be the, the fast fucker, the Cheeto. Oh, was that somebody following him? No, wait, wait, Ramot! Oh my god, and he wants to take the revenge on boys. And he can use Nen now. Yep, I see his fucking weird pants. Gosh, uh, uh, Ramoth is one of the worst ends, man. I hate him. Now, this is actually very scary right now. That's never happening, buddy. Holy fuck! Kill this sick bastard! Let's go, Kilwa! <laughs> it's now or never, man. Come on, come on! Bro, Bro I love Kilwa so freaking much. This is insane. This is definitely the most chill ending so far, man, but I like it. I kinda like the sinker's voice, man. But this episode is it's fucking insane, man. Date with Palm, right? And we got to see King like taking over that palace, man, and proclaiming that it's gonna be like the meat factory or whatever. Holy shit, bro. I am dying to start the next episode, guys, so j let's jump right into it. Let's go. <laughs> And when they first fought Ramot, right? It's actually the first end that we encountered. The boys showed some good moves, man. They strike him, kill off with the lightning, and gone with his Jajanken, uh, right? They were using Nen, while he didn't have Nen. Goes to show you that Ramos' durability is insane. And now that he actually has Nen, and it's 1v1, it's actually really scary, man. Friend and Journey. <laughs> Don't however me. Not again. Not again. No. Not again. How long does he need to, to deal with this? Look at his face. He's sick of that shit, man. 
and he felt his aura. Hila knows that he's that Ramot is strong. <laughs> I hate him so much, man. I'm getting way too fucking angry. Fuck off from him. That's why Biski brought it up, man. The only thing that can help him overcome that it's something so precious to him. You can then punch, man. Like because he was thinking, right? He's not focused at all because he's overthinking, man. He can't function and fight like that for fuck's sake. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gon is a date with this character that is supposed to be Palm. Yeah, they're not aware of what's happening. Not too far from where they are. What is he waiting though? This is still a beautiful shot, nevertheless, man. Ooh, okay, Gon. Wow, that is actually very beautiful. I don't know how, how old is she as well. Fireflies. It's so romantic. I surprise from Goa. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, these transitions, man. No. No, don't go playing that OST on me again. Don't do that, man. This OST only brings back bad memories. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose my shit, man. He's not even moving. It's so rough seeing Kilua like this. Look at this sick bastard. He's enjoying this so much. Back to gone again. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Present. Some of them are gonna come to what he gave to her. Bro, the most beautiful flower. <laughs> Palm is in heaven right now. Gone with the Riz. Yeah, this is this is actually very wholesome. I can give you what you truly want. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Time alone with me, bro. Gon is so honest, man. Gon is fantastic character. Gon and Kilua are goated characters. Yeah, needs to focus on himself, man. Wow. Is Kilua gonna be fine, man? Now he's taking way too much damage. This fool is literally shaking with excitement. Kilua, please, please. Oh, she's she's reverting back. Kilo is barely standing up. He's literally shaking. It's literally like hypnotizing him. Oh my god, what the beat down. Come on, come on, man. Because we're friends. <laughs> Bro, this kid, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, he's actually probably gonna say something weird. For a second, I thought that. Yeah, he's about to say something weird. Come on, this would be perfect, man. Please overcome that, man, and stay with Horn. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a good feeling. I don't want to lose him. <laughs> Yo! Gol is my dear friend.
Best friendship man. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he rip his hair off? What the fuck was that? Oh, he dodged! Finally, man. He's behind. He's, is he smiling? What, what the fuck is going on, Kilwa? <laughs> You're kind of worrying me, man. What the fuck? Wait, was there actually a mind control? Oh my god. So it is actually the mind control. We were seeing a bunch of times like when Kilwa remembers Illumi's eyes, like those signs going in circle, like it's hypnotizing, right? And I always thought that there might be something more to it than just how Kilwa was raised. And he literally had some shit implemented inside of Kilwa. And he finally took it out. And it's fitting, right? Because he's shooting those like weird needles and deforming other people and shit. What happens now that Kilwa removes this man? Let's let's see. Let's find out. He jammed his finger into his own head and then he vanished. I feel so much better now. Wait, there is completely vague. <laughs> Liberated. No restrictions. <laughs> Look at how the tables have turned. <laughs> Let's go. I have a message for the other hands, what the fuck? Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? A snake! Look at him! <laughs> you are telling me that Kilo was capable of that the whole time? Don't bother, oh my god! Savage Kilwa is back, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at his face, man. He's just like when he saw Nefer Pitu and felt his power, man. He was talking all that shit, man. What a set is going way to kill this bastard. <laughs> Oh my god! He just removed his head. His eyes even looked back. Look at this shit. And he squeezes his head. This is perfection, man. Oh, Illumi. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Don't care if that's how they express law. And he, is, he was probably raised in fucking hell, especially if he's the oldest one, right? But, honestly, man, I don't give a shit. Bro, now that my boy Kilwa got rid of that, oh, this is about to be so good. What the fuck is Paul making him do, man? <laughs> Look at Gon's face. It's like when you're in detention and you have to write some same shit on the board, right? Bro. This is okay. <laughs> Look at him. Why are you injured? She noticed the forehead. The hair. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, like that's happening. Don't bother. <laughs> if you value your life, don't bother. Okay, there is no helping Pal man. Oh shit, they're playing this music! <laughs> She's so weird and creepy. 
<laughs> look at Gohan! <laughs> look at her! <laughs> Gradually slowing, I mean Kilo getting further ahead. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's classic Gondo. She'll stab you in the back. I'm not too sure, man. But yeah, since they're playing this OST, yeah, it's definitely not serious. Even though she's chasing them with a fucking knife. It's like she changes her character every few scenes. What is she about to do? What the fuck even is that? Oh my god! That is so fucked! It's like she's cutting her veins! Or is it like the mirror like from that... Story? There he is! The fool! What on earth is that ability man? It's like she's... Fortune teller, but not fortune teller, she's able to tell where they are. Bro, she's not giving up! So many fucking knives! <laughs> she's so fucking crazy, man. Okay, at this point we need to knock the fuck out of her, man. Knock her out. Who oh, is he actually back? I mean, they went, yeah, they went outside, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, your they're ready to see Kite in the current state. I don't know about Gon. I really don't, man. Use your power without my permission. Does it have some sort of huge drawback or taking toll on her? <laughs> Irreplaceable commodity, man. Oh my god, she loves compliments. She will forget all about the gun. Use it only for me, okay. And this guy knows what to say to her. Bro. He's like, fuckboy wing. <laughs> That was so interesting, man. Irreplaceable commodity, yep. H12 blood type B. Forced into relationship and H22, what the fuck? Dumped before. Bro, what the fuck? That's weird as fuck, man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, why is he being scared right now? Oh, he got the golden one. Nice. <laughs> then you can have it. <laughs> it's not fun if you don't pack it. Did something happen? He noticed Kilua's relaxed behavior. Finally, man. I'm so happy for Kilua. Look at him. Let's hit the gym. Ah, you can tell, man. Yeah. If they fought again? Oh boy. Look at Palm with the hearts. Okay, dude. <clears throat> Shit, no shot. Oh, it's my boy Nato. Just standing there getting ready to body this fool. Yo. Yo, what the fuck? This is so fucking hype. Is he gonna use his ability? Yo. He dodged that one. But he doesn't look too happy, right? He can probably tell. Oh, he's there as well. The smoke. The smoke. They're jumping him. He seems so confident though, yeah. In his speed, man. Oh my god! Oh shit! But not by much. 
Just you wait, okay. They're gonna end the episode, yeah, they're showing us that it might be hard for Knuckle and this guy Moral, right? But they're about to roll this full man. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Just Knuckle standing in the middle of the road waiting for him, man. <laughs> that was so badass, man. What an amazing episode, bro. What a fantastic scene with Killua. Oh my god. Proclaiming that Gon is his dear friend. And as Kilumi's word echoed through his mind, he kept remembering Gon and all the shit they went through, man. And that's why Bisky said that, and here we finally have it, man. Because if there is something that can overcome that shit from Ilumi, it's his friendship with Gon. And we are literally seeing it happen in this episode, man. What a beautiful writing. It's so incredible. Now that he took out that shit, he, can, he will be able to fight even stronger opponents and level up and unleash his full potential, man. The guy, he was scared from Ramoth and he was taking beating from him for absolute no reason. Killua didn't even break a sweat. He just removed his head while this fucker didn't even notice it. That's the, the savage Kilua vibe that I missed, man. Like when he flipped switch on against those ants or when he uh, defeated that guy by taking his heart, man. And moments like that. Yeah. The prey is about to become predator. He's really fast, but it looks like he didn't hurt them too bad, right? <laughs> Bro! Holy shit. Yeah, that one felt a bit stronger. It feels like type of the character that you could get inside of his head, though, so... Holy shit. This is a surprise. That was so close, but he's so fast that he's able to do this. He's getting adapted, right? Nope. <laughs> Even him as well! <laughs> this is so incredible! Holy shit! Yeah, it's funny because he's saying all of this while beating them up. There's blood! Yeah, but they can take some hits for sure. This guy is on his knee though, holy fuck. Verge and Dread. They were adapting quite fast, so I think we will get advantage soon. Use wit and experience. Here we go. Exactly. He's not that dumb. <laughs> Where's Knuckle though? Yep. Ooh, bunch of them! Oh, he got confused and immediately hit lice! The smoke clones. Oh really? Oh, he be fucking go. <laughs> oh, he will be so confused by this shit. Bro, Knuckles' ability is so broken, dude. That shit will keep raising. Oh, they're making a fool out of him right now. Look at this shit, bro. He will get pissed, right? I was so right. I was able to read this guy so easily. Yeah, we don't even have to fight right now. We can just wait for him to go bust with his men. Yeah, the interest is raising. It's GG's, man. Yo. Holy shit, the animation looks so clean. Powerless against Zetsu. They were hiding their presence. So that shit stays on him. Oh, I, it makes sense. 
Although he still has that other ship. Yeah, I was about to ask. Stop adding interest though. Hmm, makes sense. And put the bet on the ball. Oh. Doubt or likes baseball, right? There are so many baseball references already. Yeah, he's about to wonder what the fuck is this thing still doing here? Yeah. It's useless. And it's funny because you can't you can't get rid of it, you can't destroy it. Man. And this is what it means. To be in an end battle, man, where speed or power might not be as decisive as you think. Kite's in here. He's no longer the person you guys know. Yo, that's the scariest part because he might be beyond saving already. Hotel Rafflesia. Dark Queen. We saw that in the battle against Kilwa, and he got his eyes, so that's what happened. What a crazy and odd ability, man. Did he literally shrink? Oh my god, look at the way he's walking. The scars! Oh, this is gonna be so hard for going to witness, man. Oh, look at what they did to my boy, man. This is so tough to watch. He's dead. Look at those eyes. The goal is starting to panic. This shit is so sad, man. They used him to train soldiers. Exactly. Gon. Gon is going to approach him. Holy oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> he will feel so bad. <laughs> this fucking show. Why is he doing that? <laughs> 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 yep, it's getting hit on purpose. <laughs> Is it because he feels regret? Yeah, he doesn't know how to cope with this man. He's reading. How he moves. It's so fucking sad. Kite isn't this weak. Holy shit. Oh, he dodged that one. Bro. <laughs> and he really stopped. He really stopped. Oh my god. Level 2. Look if it's been anyone. Oh, because he touched Kai. あれは怪盗を操っている者の念能力。気をつけろよ。もう一度触れると攻撃してくる。どうすれば。どうやって止めたの。その深手を。We injured him badly. <笑> 
my god <laughs> holy shit go on I hope that's possible, but I just don't see how. Oh my god. I want that one myself. But <laughs> go. He's thinking about the Verpito. I can see that, man. Bro. We didn't do anything our enemies did. Wow. Yeah. So she Gonga Nenno Ryoko Shinatekara. Niju Kunichinga Singita. The boys are coming back. Oh, because let's be real. What Kilua did, right? It's a whole new Kilua. And what Gon experienced now with Kite. That rage, he has to unleash it somewhere, man. Oh, you guys were not joking, gay, eh? when you said that this arc is just starting. And so many things already happened. They can take care of themselves. When, when it comes to actual skills, look at him. He took the Joker. His performance is quite inconsistent. He's consistently inconsistent, that's kind of true. Oh, look at this guy. Exactly, man. Exactly. The enemies before us. <laughs> Holy shit, they are all going. Near the Republic of East Gortel border. Yeah, the stuff with the king. That's why Neferpito said that. Oh my god. From the babies to the ill, he's been summoned for a celebration. Oh no, this is about to be so fucked up. We will have to prevent this shit. And because we already saw Nen through TV with Hisoka's fight, right? They can probably see that shit, right? World will be watching ちゃんめんねっとろ。もしかして。Nah, he's not going out like that. It's gonna be him, right? Speak of the devil, it's German. Everybody knows everything. Wow. Divide into three pairs and drove the royal guard away from the king. Oh my god, this is about to be so like impossible, man. Bro, what are we about to witness? Midnight. The sharp ears of men. That's really creepy. He just said that, bro. Sorry to say, we are actually happy. <laughs> Immediately, yep. After 30 days. Are they about Are they about to test God now that his nan is back? Attack Mizafa, if I were responsible for Kite. 
We will press you with another hunter. You do not have to be worried about that. <laughs> Show him your Jajanken. He's actually jacked as shit. He's about to be satisfied. I can tell you that for sure. Bro, what the fuck? That guy is a monster. Oh, he's remembering that very moment, man. Oh my god, and Kite in that state. Holy shit, that face. <laughs> Look at him sweating. Yep, you asked for it. Yo, yo, the earth is shattering! Bro, he's about to fucking kill this guy! Kill Wa, of course. Wow. That's enough. <laughs> oh my god. Right, big guy, he's sweating like crazy. He's so enough, am I right? I was really about to kill you! <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah, now he laughs. Yeah, he's like, you're crazy, fucker. You got me good. <laughs> oh, what the f Don't fucking show. As requested. Look, man, should the devil have to face that fucking monster? Oh, this one is so fucking unpredictable. <laughs> this is about to be so wild. Oh, that was incredible. That was incredible set of episodes, man. It was so hype and so emotional. My boy Kilwa finally managed to break that curse. The fact that he was running away, that he was always overthinking and calculating. Kilua is very smart and he's perfect strategist and when it comes to analyzing opponents, that's his forte, right? He's really good at that. But also, sometimes, in some situations, considering his skills, right? It shouldn't be far-fetched that he would be able to take out some opponents that are, like, having let's say more aura than him right and in this situation with that needle he would get scared and he would be basically handicapped not able to think really well and would not go on offensive because of the scary amount of aura that his enemies possess if that makes sense and now when he removed that he's actually doing his thing he's back to his old self but it's interesting because he probably had that from the beginning of the story, I would guess, right? But seeing Kilua smile and talk so relaxed and casually, and that isn't even on his mind anymore, leaving Gon's side, right? He's not thinking about that shit because he overcame what Biscuit told him. And she told him for this very reason, because she knows that only his relationship with Gon is strong enough and is something that Kilua cherishes and puts on first place that something is like that is capable of breaking that Illumi's curse man that twisted love as I said because Illumi is uh, one of the oldest siblings if not the oldest I think he's the oldest uh, they probably tortured him and made him fucked up and the whole family it's Zoltics we are talking about. We know how weird they are, man. They have a bunch of badass characters, but also they are very, very odd, right? right. You don't, we don't need to, to point that out, man. But the fact that Kilua finally broke out of it and instantly destroyed Ramoth. That was one of the most satisfying moments in Hunter x Hunter, man. And Ramoth was salivating. He was so happy that he was beating Kilua and then Kilua started crying dude and saying that Gon is his dear friend and this fool makes sad face and for a second like what the fuck is he actually feeling empathy and then I quickly remembered all the weird shit he said and I'm like oh no he's probably 
gonna say some weird shit and that was the case man the visuals with the snake right oh it was so perfect my boy Kilua is back man and he's now without anything holding him back and Gon got his name back he had encounter with what appears to be straight up like a zombie kite I don't buy it I don't buy that kite is alive the way he looks the way he moves automatically through that ability and they have like these levels and shit man we saw his head right he was beheaded and his head got reattached so i truly believe that kite is actually dead man. and the fact that one still thinks that there, he might somehow get him back to normal is crazy and he's so angry he said that he wanted that one for, for himself referring to never pito and it's scary I don't see it no matter how angry Gon gets, right? It's Royal Guard Never Pito that we are talking about that effortlessly took out Kite Man and got his arm from that one attack, that leap from miles away. Never Pito is incredibly powerful, so I'm I'm really, really curious and skeptical how will this go man because they showed us how the matchup should be right it's gone and Kilwa against nefer pito it's uh that guy up against knuckle and shoot which is really scary that guy generally scares me that up guy and the other dude uh with the butterfly wings who plays violin is about to face nov and morel and they showed King and Chairman Netero, who is already, by the way, in that East Gortel. As I said, you guys said that there is a bunch of exciting things coming up, man. And I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the next set of episodes. The date with Palm was hilarious, weird, funny, creepy, all at the same time. I like how they went back and forth with that. And Kilwa facing the end. They did that really nicely. Also, Knuckle and Morel against that uh, Cheetah guy was interesting. He actually escaped and he's an idiot. He's really easy to read. He still has that thing attached, so I wonder if that will come into play. Uh, the interest can't go up because Knuckle is not close, right? But it, they can use it for tracking. So I wonder if that will come into play. It probably has to be the case. It's Hunter Hunter we are talking about, man. It's an incredible show with amazing writing. The ver <laughs> the moral guy, he took off his shirt. He was talking shit about uh, testing Gon's resolve and all of that, saying, fight me, attack me like I'm the one responsible for Kite. He puffs up. He basically turns into Hulk, man. He's experienced, strong hunter. Gon starts charging his judge and Ken. Everything is shaking just like against the Razor, right? And even more, right? Because of the rage he's feeling. He's imagining the scenes with height and his face, man, that Gon made at that moment. I was legit worried for a second. And he was charging that shit and Kilwa taps him on the shoulder, basically saying, that's enough, man. <laughs> they witness more than enough. And I like how this guy broke out in cold sweat man he was sweating throughout his whole body and that was that was very hilarious incredible episodes guys the friendship between Kilwa and Gon as I said a bunch of times already is one of my favorite things in anime period they're just amazing characters uh King is very very scary he was talking about sparing the animals right pigs and cows and i was talking a little bit about how it's interesting because it's like in their nature to uh, be like on top of the chain and that it's like natural that they are taking out and eating humans that it's not evil but of course when you mix human genes with them right you can't really say that man even though he has been born recently it looks like he already has a really really great outlook on the world man <laughs> what can i tell you guys he was uh even they were even commentating about how 
the weak are ruling through the blood relations and right and pulling some strings and how it's fucked up that these awful people are ruling and I'm kind of like they're spitting some facts man there is so much truth to that bro but yeah as I said the difference is the humans it's in humans nature to fight back and to defend itself so yeah humans are not going down without a fight man and it's so good it's amazing right it's like apocalyptic in a sense right with these like basically alien species or some shit trying to take over man and i like because oh, i have no idea how do we defeat the royal guards and the king i have no clue man nothing comes to my mind they just seem too fucking strong this king is decapitating people only with his tail all this time man. effortlessly he's insanely powerful so yeah, I like it a lot. I like the writing. I like how he's trying to call out human humanity for hypocrisy and shit. It's about to be so dope. But I will end the video here for today. Guys. I, uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See you guys.